yeah, I think it was hyped up a little bit too much, and um, and it just, I don't know. I don't know what it is. Maybe it's the maps. Maybe it's the the weapons or the damage model or something. But it gets boring quite quickly. I find. Um, like I can go in and I can play around, and maybe after one round it gets just like. I don't know. It gets. Yeah, you're you're not alone on that. It's I, I, it's the same with me as well. I mean, it, whether I'm playing by myself or with a team, like after like one or two games, it's just you know whether you're doing good or not, it feels the same. It's just yeah, not, yeah, and it just doesn't seem like uh, if like if you get uh, like you run into a room, you get like a five spray or something with with the LMG. It doesn't just doesn't seem as as exciting as it was in in BC2. It's not that sort of yeah, uh, exactly. Recon needs to be changed because uh, at the moment it's a bit. It's a bit oh, completely, cool. completely revamped. It's an entirely weak class. I mean, and you can, you can do so well with the class. I mean, even still put up pulling off some, you know, you know, good kills. But I think when you're playing, especially in like a competitive standard, I mean, the recon isn't used at all. I think the only time they use it in competitive matches is just for the uh, gadgets, like the MAV. Exactly. Or the exactly. spawn beacon. You, you just t chuck like a, a UMP or something on, and you'll just use. The spawning beacon in the in the map or whatever. Yeah, it's a completely inferior class. Nobody uses it really. It's just all around a weak class, kind of laughable if anything. Yeah. Especially with all the other kits, have so much more an advantage in regards to not only um, winning games but also the team teamwork effort that the other kits have. Uh, exactly. Long, long exactly. Like like for example, support. Um, I don't understand what what Dice was really thinking when they decided to give support. Uh, like everything, <laughs> like claymores and C4 and and the mortar, I think, uh, I think uh, that was kind of a, a mistake, a big mistake. Because yeah, well, it doesn't make sense because the sniper in BF2 had claymores. So exactly, yeah. Would it, switch it, that over. And, and it makes sense that the sniper would have claymores because they're the ones sort of I, I don't want to say camping, but um, you know holding a position and and sort of uh, sticking around one area. So it makes sense that they would have it to sort of you know lock it down. But uh, they gave it to support, which is kind of strange. And I think. Um, it's just yeah, like I, that, I don't know the whole thought process behind that. I yeah. think people, many people, have felt like it, you know, BF3 was kind of like a rushed project. There wasn't really a lot of um, thought into putting, you know, structuring the classes together and the weapon balancing. Yeah. That's kind of like one of my big complaints right now. It's just the weapon balancing and and the game is just so. Uh, I mean, it's it's just inferior to the other previous titles. I mean, Badger had a good point where it's just kind of like all the guns kind of do the same damage scaling. Yeah, it all feel the same. Just, yeah. Yeah, they all feel the same. It's just they differentiate um, on the accuracy. You know, yeah, exactly, everything pretty yeah. much scales exactly the same. So it's just I don't understand. And yeah, this was like an issue that was brought up in not only alpha but beta as well. And it, it just was never fixed. They kind of tried to re, you know, touch on the accuracy aspects of weapons, but they never really touched upon the damage. And I don't know exactly know why. Yeah, I, I thought. Uh... I mean, I really thought they would take more from BC2. I know they wanted to create like a totally different game and have it separate from BC2 and, and tie it more to BF2 um, because it's not Bad Company and Bad Company is something separate. Um, but I would have liked to see more BC2 influence on, on BF3. Um, for example, the damage. Exactly. Or, or, the, the damage, not only that, but the destruction. Holy exactly, God. yeah, yeah. You don't if see anything, the destruction. If there was BF3. anything they could have dragged over from BC2, I figured it would have been the destruction. Yeah, for sure. Um, and I, I think the, the, the overall pace of BC2 is just... Uh, I don't know if it's the prone maybe causes uh, uh, the slowness in, in BF3, if it's the map design or something, but um, the overall it's pace map. of the game it, is It's just a combination between map design and, and the proning. Um, uh, I, the, a so. lot of, uh, I, I know a lot of competitive players have been complaining that the map designs are horrible because it's very favorable to one side. It is, yes. And, uh, so it's just it just makes everything so difficult. And the fact that there's no uh, battle log, or not battle log, but um, battle recorder, yeah, so yeah. You can't really, you know, spectate on people too, so. For sure, for sure. So, yeah, see, I didn't play BF2. I never thought, um, I mean, I owned both BF2 and I owned 2142, and and, uh, and I don't know, I never got into it. I never thought, I played maybe like a total of like five hours of it, I think, um, of both, and I just, I didn't really see it as, as very exciting, but maybe that's just because I didn't give it the time, and maybe that's, I thought that's what the issue was with BF3 when I first started playing it, but... Um, now that I've put like 150 hours into it, um, I think that it's, the game is, you know, it's broken and it's... Yeah, it wears off. I mean, you, it, you're not the only one. I mean, I've been seeing people in the forums that have spent like over 200, 300 hours, and they're just starting to realize that BF3 is not really a good game. It's not really fun anymore. Yeah, it just, I, you know, it falls off really fast. Yeah, I, I think uh, if, if EA or, or when they decide to do uh, Bad Company 3, which I'm really hoping they do, 
um, I think that will will be the game. I think that that people thought BF3 should have been. Um, the, I don't know. Maybe it's the the time that they released BF3, but it's not going to have the lifespan. I don't think that they they're hoping. Uh, you know, they wanted to make no. BF2 and they want to make it. That I don't think years. I don't. I, I really don't think that's what the li they didn't have a long lifespan in mind. I think they w wanted just to release a really fast, quick product that people will start to play. Um, just for the season, and then they're going to come out with all this download content that people will buy off after yeah. that. Kind of, it, which is, scares me because that's the the same direction that Call of Duty took after COD, uh, COD 4. Exactly. It kind of yeah. went into this yearly thing, and it just pissed people off. That's why the yeah. PC community is so horrible on, on Call of Duty right now. And I, I'm afraid that Battlefield 3 and Vice is taking the same direction. I don't want that to happen, but I, I think they're just giving you only so much that you know you're going to have to want more, and they're going to you know unlock all these new products for Battlefield 3, these download contents, this extra stuff that you're going to have to pay for. And, you know, that's where this, the direction of these companies are running. It's just that you don't get any mods, we don't get any modifications, because they don't want people mod modding their game and coming out with, yeah. you know, last lastable content that people can stick around. And, you know, it's just, the evidence is all around. It's just really companies have bought into this idea that, you know, you have to play a new game every year, so we're only going to give you so much. Exactly. No. Yeah, I, I agree with you. Um, you you, you need to look at compute, uh, games like Counter Strike that have survived for so long, and you're yeah. like, you know, why, why can't companies do, you know, what they're doing? You know, it's just, you know, I don't, I don't understand. I don't, I don't know what the the idea behind all of this is. So yeah, it, it, it scares is, me. It is. I think a lot is also uh, due to like console and and uh, you know how limited it is compared to PC, and that's where all the money is and. Uh, sort of yeah, yeah, it's, it's a definitely a money issue. I would always go back to Battlefield 2 just so I can get that feeling again. Yeah. Of the, you know, true Battlefield experience, so. Uh, and people don't consider, I think a lot of veterans don't consider Bad Company 2 as a true sequel to Bad Battlefield. You know, and they think, yeah. you know, it's, yeah, no, you know, I know it's a lot different. It's, said, you know, it wasn't. It's more COD friendly, exactly. you know, which I understand, you know, that that's their whole, you know, perspective on it. But I, I think it was different. Bad Company came at a really good time. Um, and it gave a different perspective in the battlefield sense for infantry players specifically, and I I, I, I liked it. You know, I, I I love the traditional series, but I also love that company series as well, and and it does have that battlefield you know feeling to it for me. Yeah, so. no, yeah, for sure. Bad Bad Company Two was definitely um, probably one of my one of my favorite games. Um, it yeah, really it's it's good. good. It's a really good game. It brought you know, and I think the balancing and the weapon balancing, you know, after they did a you know a couple weeks here and there it, it was really polished yeah, yeah and people said i know a lot of people said uh you know aggressive recon or well, recon was overpowered um and I, they is, just don't know what they're talking this about it's complete rubbish really. because they know, don't it's rubbish you it, go to competitive matches and see how many people were using yeah, aggressive recon nobody nobody everybody it. was using medics with mg36s yeah, they know that for sure. like that would carry a match you know you know recon was <laughs> balanced it was extremely balanced if you could play aggressive recon and do well at it you were a balanced player you know they were very rare, so I don't think it was overpowered at all. No, no, and people thought, you know, uh, in playing it, you could just pick it up, you know, straight away, but you had to put in a lot of time to be able to, you know, be as good as you are and and, and sort of, you know, go into any... Oh, I'm sure, well. everyone, every, yeah, it was, because you could tell the difference between someone who committed to themselves to a kit. I mean, I've run with players who were, you know, really good assault players. Yeah. And I, just stuff that I couldn't do it with assault, they were able to do. You know, like I had a lot of clan mates who were just dedicated to certain kits. You know, like we had really good medics, we had really good engineers. You know, and I think that's just the, the what separated a hardcore player from the casual. Whereas yeah. BF3, it doesn't matter if you commit to a kit a hundred hours, you're still going to be just as good yeah, when yeah. just picking up the kits. You know, everybody's kind of like the same equal standard. It doesn't matter how good you are, um, but you could just fire a weapon because the damage is so off in the game you know it doesn't matter if you're pro or not you're pretty much leveled up with everyone yeah for sure and i was actually talking to uh, a couple of my claim mates just before i jumped in here uh and they were they were going on about how um you know all the weapons feel the same and and everything's very it's balanced but it's all on the same yeah. sort of level you know everything yeah it is i was playing a game last night just last night and, and there was a, um, a subscriber of mine who was playing and he was telling me oh you know i just got into PC gaming a week ago. Like, I've never played PC games before. And this is the first time I've ever started playing. And he was just wrapping up the score, just killing everyone. And I was like, wow, you know, you're really good. And I'm like, you know, that's like, <laughs> it's either the weapon balancing, there's either something really want, wrong with the weapons, but, or it's just very, you know, it's that easy to, you know, just pick up a gun and, and do good with it. And I think, 
you know, you, there's really no separation between someone who likes to commit to a certain kit. Yeah, yeah, they um, took away that sort of yeah, skill factor. They, there. Yeah, they, tr they took a lot away. I think the damaging and the, the balancing has taken a lot away from the skill between controlling your weapon. There's really not a lot of skill to learn on the weapons. All right, man, yeah, thanks, for, uh, thanks for coming in and having a talk. Yeah, no problem, dude. You have Sweet. a good one. See you. So I hope you guys enjoyed that commentary. Um, you guys should definitely check out Enigma's channel if you haven't already. I'll put a link in the description. Also, if you guys want to see more Bad Company 2 stuff, uh, chuck a comment below because I've been going back to it recently, so uh, I may post more of it if you guys want to see it. Um, thanks for watching. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll see you next time.